Have you ever wanted a return to top button on Bricks Builder? I'm going to show you how to do that right now. We have a fantasy page over here that we built with Bricks Builder. It's quite nice actually with lots of flowing sections. But what if you want to have a button over here on the right hand side that when you click it, it instantly takes you all the way back to the top. That is really, really simple and easy to do. Now, the first thing you've got to decide is how are you going to position this button? We're going to have it as a fixed point on the right hand side. But what I mean about where do you add position it is when do you add it? Do you add it at the start? Do you add it at the end? Well, that's kind of up to you. But my tip is that if you have a header, drop your button in the header because it means that it will be visible on every screen. Let me explain that again. This over here is a section, this section here. This is not a header. This is just a section I dropped on the page. But let's pretend that was a header template, right? If you put the return to top here, if, and you then activate this to be visible on the entire website. I hope that's making sense. So your header template is activated on every page of your website. That button will be visible on every page. You're not now creating the button for page one, two, three, four, five, six. You create it once and it is always visible. I'm going to go over now and drop in a button into here. Don't worry about the button being above the logo and all of that. Or the fact you've got this white space over here because this particular section was overlapping a hero banner, but you don't need to worry about that. What I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to get rid of the text in that button first, and then I'm going to go and add in an icon. So we're going to click down here. I'm going to go to Font Awesome Solid, and I'm going to type down here. I think it's Chevron. Yeah, there you go. Chevron up. That one there. Okay. So I'm just going to use that, and you can basically see what it's doing there. It's, it's not amazing. Don't you know? I get that. It automatically has a 10 pixel over there. If I just hit zero, it kind of centralized it a bit more, but you could have modified that anyway. So I've gone with a 15, 15 on the top and bottom and 10 and 10 on the left and right over there. I'm not gonna mess around with any more with the width and all I'm now gonna do is the basic coloring. Now we come on to the important bit about where this button is gonna sit on the screen, okay? If you're in the style tab and you are on layout, scroll down until you get to positioning. It will say static. What you want to do is click that, have it wherever you want for that particular section. So as I scroll up and down, it completely disappears out of view. But if we go back over here to where I picked, um, where is it? Sorry, let me pick on the button. There we go. Where it is currently absolute. Instead, I'm going to go for fixed. So when I now go for fixed, look. That button is there no matter how much I scroll up and down. Can you see it's always there? I want it to be, you know, over on the right hand side. If I try and drag it and move it, it doesn't work like that. It just kind of goes a bit funny. So here's what you do. Over here, we have top, right, bottom, left. I want it to be on the right hand side. And I think you can probably guess what I'm going to do here. I'm just going to hit zero. It's now gone all the way over to the right hand side. If I was to now hit zero bottom, it's now below me. You can just see it down there, right? Just where my finger is. I actually want it to be a little bit higher up. So I'm going to move myself a little bit out of the view just over here. And I'm going to say I want it to be at the bottom, but not completely. I mean, maybe I want to go with like 50%. Uh, so I'm going to go with that. That is now 50% of the screen. So if we were viewing this, if I just hit save and we just go for preview, that is now roughly 50%. It's not completely. You're going to say that looks a little bit you know, not completely, but it is roughly 50% there. Now let's make this button a clickable action. Okay, I'm going to go over to my very top section that I have over here. I'm going to ensure that I am in the style tab and I'm going to go down to where it says CSS. I am now going to go down to where we have CSS ID. So we're in the very top section, okay, that currently contains my header. And I've gone down to style and CSS ID. And I'm going to call this one a uh, top section for now. Top section, there we go. Please bear in mind how you write it. Uh, uppercase and lowercase do matter because if I had a capital S or uppercase S and I don't use that next time, it won't work very well. So my good tip is uh, make a copy of that if you don't already or stick it somewhere. Anyway, we've now given a CSS class or ID to our... Uh, top section over there. Now let's go back over to the button, which is currently on the right hand side. We then go over to the content tab for that button and I'm now going to go over to where we have link. And if this was going to link to another page, you might want to use the external link um, ID or even an intern not internal post, the external link. And then you put your URL in 
And then you're going to put in the word hashtag top section. But the better way to do it, I find, is you hit dynamic data. And then over here, all I'm going to do is just type hashtag. And then, uh, well, I can just paste it, can't I? There we go. Hashtag top section. That is literally it. All I did was create a button, make it fix, stick it to where I want it to be. Then I went to the section, the very top section, and went to the CSS ID and said top section. Then I went to the button, uh, went to wherever you have the link. It might be in the content tab somewhere. Depending on what you're using, you might be using an icon, a button, a heading, anything like that. Dynamic data, hashtag top section. Now, when you're viewing this in preview and I scroll down, look, nothing happens. Look, I click it, there's nothing happening. You've actually got to be viewing it on the front end. So click the symbol over here, make sure you're viewing it on the front end. And when I scroll down now, I go all the way here, click that, and it's going to go all the way back to the top. Look, it, it's basically working. That is your return to top button. And I, I've this video probably could have been done in 30 seconds, but I wanted to just go through some key steps over there with building it, positioning it, then starting to put in your link uh, and your hashtag name and all of that. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life, I never miss that stack, taking big swings, bitch, hand me the bat, put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag.